Chris, welcome to uh, Newcastle Falcons. Thank you. Uh, great to have you here. How are you settling in? Very well, actually. Uh, the boys have been very good. Uh, they've been very friendly and uh, getting to know the place very well, quite quickly. And uh, everything's been going, you know, quite smoothly in the first week or so. And you've been having some rigorous training sessions, including the one just before. How have you found the uh, pre-season training so far? Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I mean, you're not going to get an easy pre-season anywhere, but uh, a lot of the coaches are very willing to make sure that everything's in professional standards. Uh, despite the news of going down, you know, everything's yeah. um, you know going to that Premiership standard. And uh, I think everyone's happy to be just training hard and reaping the rewards. And you mentioned the professional standard. You look around here at Kingston Park, it's certainly geared up for Premiership rugby. I mean, what enticed you to, to join the club? Definitely. I think, uh, you know, where the club is now, uh, I think there's a, there's a massive start to, to build this team into, you know, a great English Premiership side. And, you know, we really want to be challenging the top Premiership sides and hopefully go on to, you know, um, compete in European Cups and, you know, hopefully be successful in those. And of course, Dean starts in August. Um, have you worked under him before? Yeah, he uh, he was there at Quinns uh, my first year, and uh, I was under him for that first year. And then, obviously, all that stuff happened uh, that year, and uh, that's part of that history. But uh, you know, fresh new start here. Really looking forward to it, and I'm sure you know the club's going to do really well with uh, him at the top. And a fresh new start, a fresh new city. I mean, how have you settled into Newcastle? Yeah, Newcastle's a little bit different to London, but uh, it, it's, it's very good. You know, some of the boys have taken me around and uh, introduced me to different sites and restaurants and different places like that and where to go and where not to go so uh, what's your what, what's your favorite restaurant so far uh well i've only stopped by nando's actually so far <laughs> but it's good to get a location on that i yeah. think uh, as it's a, a frequented uh place and have you sensed the passion for sport in the area? Definitely. I think uh, a lot of the city will be behind the Falcons and obviously the football as well is up here. Um, but I, I can imagine that the community uh, of rugby is very strong up here and uh, that's what I'm looking forward to. You know, uh, a lot of fans coming to watch uh, us play rugby. It's great that you mentioned uh, the community. I mean, that's a big part of this club uh, going forward. So. I imagine that's going to be really important to get fans into this ground. Definitely, um, you know, it's always nice to have a packed out stadium. You know, you can definitely hear the um, sort of the buzz and get get a feel for the place when, you know, everyone is shouting and uh, wishing you wishing you the best. And um, you know, just looking forward to that first game really at home. And uh, hopefully, we'll have a packed out stadium. And now you've finished for uh, for the day. What does Chris do now in his spare time? Actually, I'm about to go and see Spider Man. So I think. Nice. <laughs> so uh, that's that's the the big uh, the big day. Is it going with the missus? No, not going with the missus, going with some of the boys. So right. uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Exactly. Well, that's another way of team building. And has team building yeah, been, been, so. been pretty strong so far? Definitely, definitely. I think uh, everyone's uh, looking to make sure that as long as the team's bonded well, then you know we're going to be more successful on the on the pitch on, on the game day. Really, like you know, the stronger the bonds, the stronger the players, and hopefully stronger the team. Fantastic! All the best, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you.